now there is a one big question what is after gate right so everyone having mind that so if i get a rank in gate so what we need to do after this gate exam right suppose you're getting some uh, thousand rank or 1500 rank or uh, less than 500 etc so there is a big question so what is after gate now in this video i'm going to some details about what we can do after gate exam suppose if you are qualified and if you are getting good rank then what is after gate right now the first thing suppose if we are looking for the job that is this public sector units so these are some uh, companies which are recruiting through gate so so I'll, i'm going to give some details about this company and what are the eligible branches right now we'll have indian oil uh, corporation limited that is indian oil so in this we'll have eligibility for ece triple e and instrumentation mechanical and chemical and civil engineering and computer science so for all these branches are eligible now what is the rank so so what should be the rank so we'll get into this corporation limited or indian oil so what is the eligibility means suppose if we are general uh, that is oc see the rank should be at least less than 500 right and this depends suppose in this less than 500 some of some uh, students may opt for higher studies that is mtech so it should be less than 500 so sometimes if you are getting a uh, suppose 100 rank also you may not get a job because thus below 100 all people are opting for the job so that depends so at least we should have less than 500 rank similarly if it is uh, if we are at in obc category so the rank should be less than 1000 rank okay not a score and suppose your from sc st it is category so your may your rank may be less than 1500 so see it may be vary this thousand this 500 is maybe less than 200 also i'm giving some average rank for the gate so this is the gate ranks right similarly if i go for ongc so this is one more company that is natural gas oil corporation limited so again eligible trees are electronic communication triple e cs mechanical instrumentation other branches are there but i'm taking only these five uh, branches again so see after gate suppose you get some very good rank so we can go opt for this ongc by uh, filling the application so again the rank should be for the same should be less than 500 right and this is 1500 etc similarly the bhl that is but heavy electrical limited so but this is only for electrical and mechanical engineering right so again the rank should be at uh, less than 300 or less than 500 for general i mean general candidates for obc it should be less than 1000 and 1500 etc so you can make some average for all the this uh, psus similarly jail right this no so one more is next one is jail that is gas authority india limited so the eligibility branches are again same that is ec triple e instrumentation is computer science mechanical and chemical engineering right so again depending on the uh, who is opting for this company so depending on suppose general so it may be less than 300 400 etc similarly obc and scst now hpcl so again the same branches so civil engineering is included see in the jail there is no civil engineering but in hpcl we'll have civil engineering also see i opted only for eligible for ec more right maximum so but these branches are also eligible so rank wise same then there is a power grid so here so there are only four branches that is ec triple e the civil engineering and computer science now there is a one more hcl that is hindustan aeronautics limited so again the branches four branches are eligible that is ec triple e mechanical and civil engineering next we'll have that is iol so here only the mechanical engineering and extra some branches there so for ece there is no for this here 
BSNL GTO. So recently, Gate 2017 only from Gate 2017, BSNL GTO is also recruiting through Gate. So what are the eligible branches are EC, Triple E, Instrumentation, and Computer Science. And I have given some uh, the number that is this is the post JTO post in for Gate 2017 people. So 2510, right? So it will be again distributed for OC, right? OPC, etc. So there will be and again state wise and uh, they will be distributed again. So so for uh, total uh, now what are the for OC post and OPC and uh, what you call area wise. So you can go to the BSNL website then you can see so area wise also that is state wise. Right. So this is about the the jobs in PSUs. Now suppose if you are uh, going for higher studies so what are the iits and nits which is offering uh, mtech seats for through gate exam the first two we'll see go for iits indian institute of technologies so plus one iic bangalore is there right so for iic bangalore so the rank for obc i mean sorry general first we'll go for the oc it should be less than 50 rank it may be less than 10 also depending on the uh, courses offering there so less than 50 and OBC it may be less than 200 and uh, for SCST category so it may be less than 500 rand, right then only will get into IIC Bangalore now depending on see the this is the first option always with generally people uh, people next one is IIT Bombay then IIT Delhi Kanpur, then IIT Madras, then Karakpur, Roorki, Gauhati, and IIT Hyderabad, IIT Gandhinagar, IIT Bhuvaneshwar, or IIT Varanasi. So these are the top IITs. So recently, uh, government announced some IITs also, like IIT Lucknow, etc. But these are the top institutes. Now, for this all uh, IITs entrance, so for uh, OC and OPC and uh, the three different categories so for OC at least you should have rank less than 600 rank when you are entering into this IITs in OBC it may be less than 1500 and uh, 60 it may be 2500 rank right now once we enter into this IITs or NITs the people will get the stipend stipend of 12400 Right, it is increased from 8000 now it is 12400 right similarly if we are entering into INITs so every state there is 23 or 24 states we are having some uh, 23 NITs so but among them so these are the some uh, top INITs NIT Warangal, NIT Tirchi, NIT Suratkal, NIT Calicut, NIT Rautkela right now <coughs> so for NITs so we'll have for a general less than 1000 rank for OBC less than 200 and uh, for uh, uh, the SCST category so it may be less than 3000 also we may get right uh, admission in NITs now there should there is some category I mean uh, strategy or uh, there is some admission procedure so you enter into this see the only one in institute which is going for go through counseling is IIT Madras so in this IIT Madras you will not have any like written test or interview so it is something online procedure only if you fill online application depending on the rank they will select right so IIT Madras it's like only just if you apply online so depending on the rank they will take the remaining IITs and IASC they will conduct again some written test plus interview right so some people think that so once I get the rank so I will uh, directly get a admission from this IIC or NIT, IITs right no so they will conduct a written test plus interview sometimes only interview also so that's why don't relax after the gate rank so you have to brush brush up your uh, basics again so only they will ask basics only right so you have to brush up the basics and uh, revise some uh, uh, do, to do the revision whatever you studied for the gate exam right 
so don't think that your rank is below 100 so you may get uh, iit uh, admission sometimes you may get, uh, suppose if an uh, interview is not good then they may not give admission for you right so that's why interview and written test must be there so you have to uh, prepare for that interview and written test right <clears throat> suppose your rank is suppose 500 suppose if you need the suppose iit delhi so so you think that so the 100 rank fellow is there so you may not get admission so it's not doesn't mean that you will get so if uh, the 500 rank uh, student interview performance is very good so you will get admission in iit delhi so so that is based on the written test and interview right so that is don't relax see but nit is they will do simple counseling that is online application if you fill then depending on the rank wise they will take so depending on depending on rank so they will give admission so there is no interview for nits and only one iit which is not conducting any interview and uh, written test is iit madras so depending on suppose uh for oc candidate suppose it is less than one 150 rank so depending on the uh what do you call uh, uh branches depending on the courses they will get directly admission in iit madras <coughs> now now the main question is suppose if you got admission in mtech then people think that you get the job directly right so that is not the case right so after getting into iit you have to perform very well right because so for each course suppose you opted for vlsi right so in vlsi you, you may get 20 people maximum 20 people 20 students will be there now so once generally uh, in 20 students so 10 people will get greater than 8.5 cgpa and the 10 people will get less than 7.5 cgpa suppose we assume now these 10 fellows is having more chance to get the job right so which may be depending on the iit it minimum 10 lakhs package will be there now less than 7.5 who are getting so we may get less chances for getting jobs so again you may get into software jobs right so here the core jobs will be there who are is getting good cgps and uh, who are getting less CBA, again you have to go for software jobs or some fellows will go come to the teaching profession right so after entering entering into the iit if you are not performing well again the same scenario will happen so whatever the after btech some fellows got software job then you left that job and you prepare get very well and again joining into a iit or nit so if you are not performing well again you will come into the software right but if you want really hardware job i mean the score job <coughs> or if you are, want to go to the research so you have to perform very well again there right so for going for research so it's not required the higher cgpa if you are uh, uh, less than seven or less than six uh, but if you are very interested in research right you can join there also right but if you want job that is core job right at least you should have maintained 8.5 cgpa or at least minimum 8 cgpa out of 10 right so if it is out of 8 it should have at least 6.5 cgpa then only you will get at least 10 lakhs package 10 lakhs package right again so what they will look suppose the score companies come so again they will look right so in uh, these two years m take or one year m take so what you what you got or what you get the this uh, research or in your course how much knowledge you got so that they will take again if your uh, cgp is good and if your communication skills are not good right if you are not expressing what you studied communication skills again it's very important to express what you know right so that's why everything is matter in this suppose if you are entering into iit right so don't relax you have to perform very well the at least one year so this one year so if your cgp is eight minimum eight then you will get a good job right so if you are not performing well in this one year so you may end up with the again software job right so that's why 
after entering into IIT only the 50% people are getting only job the remaining 50% so uh, either jobless or they are going to software again right or they are coming into teaching profession right so because they are not performing well after joining in IIT or NIT so that's why my friends so don't relax after getting into IIT or NIT so you have to perform very good to get a good package right so I hope you get some information you got some information from this video right and if you are having any doubt please post a comment so we'll discuss right all the best